From Alabama's epic walk-off TD to Ohio State's double overtime upset of Miami, the last two decades have been full of big-name champions. Fires in zone, intercepted. Let's party, Columbus. ESPN Sports Analytics developed a metric that connects every team over the last 20 seasons and rates them using points above average. From that comes this countdown of major college football's 21 national champions since the start of the BCS era. At number 21, the 2002 Ohio State Buckeyes. Jim Tressel's team won by a touchdown or less in six of its last seven games, including an escape at Purdue in a now legendary moment. Prince is going to throw for it. Got to get it off. They go for the ball game. Touchdown! Touchdown! Holy Buckeye! A stingy defense and freshman running back Maurice Claret carried the Bucks down the stretch, capping it with a Fiesta Bowl victory against heavily favored Miami on a controversial pass interference call. Number 20, the 2006 Florida Gators. Urban Meyer's group was led by quarterback Chris Leak and featured freshman sensation Tim Tebow. The Gators got into the BCS title game by a narrow margin over Michigan and then upset the Wolverines' chief rival, Ohio State, with a dominant second half performance, starting a streak of seven straight championships for the SEC. The next in that streak was the 2007 LSU Tigers at number 19 on our list. The Mad Hatters boys lived dangerously, winning a few nail biters and even losing a couple in multiple overtimes. Ultimately, they took down number one Ohio State in the BCS title game and became the only team in modern college football to be named national champion with more than one loss. Number 18, the 1998 Tennessee Volunteers. The season after Peyton Manning graduated, Philip Fulmer turned to T. Martin to lead the balls. After an epic survival against Arkansas in November, Tennessee closed out an undefeated campaign with a win over Florida State in the inaugural BCS championship game. Number 17, the 2003 LSU Tigers. The Bayou Bengals lifted the championship trophy for the first time in 45 years after a Sugar Bowl win over Oklahoma. A menacing defense led the way for Nick Saban to get the first of his six national championships, although LSU would share top honors with USC, which finished number one in the AP poll. Speaking of which, that 2003 Trojans team comes in at number 16. The 20, the 15, the 10, all the way Reggie Bush. USC was led by scintillating freshman Reggie Bush and QB Matt Leinart, with all of its wins that season coming by 14 points or more, including the Rose Bowl victory over Michigan that clinched a share of the title for the Trojans. At number 15, Cam Newton and his 2010 Auburn Tigers. Five or six months ago, nobody would have Bet they last out of to say that Auburn University is winning the national championship. Newton won the Heisman and led his team to its first national title in 53 years. He passed for over 2,800 yards and 30 touchdowns while rushing for nearly 1,500 yards and another 20 scores in one of the greatest QB seasons ever recorded. War Eagle eventually bested Oregon in the title game with a field goal on the final play. Number 14, the 2014 Ohio State Buckeyes. OSU took home the first college football playoff championship as backup QB Cardell Jones filled in ably for the injured JT Barrett and led the Bucks to convincing wins over Alabama and Oregon. Ezekiel Elliott torched both of those defenses, including almost 250 yards against the Ducks in the championship game. At number 13, the 2000 Oklahoma Sooners. Bob Stoops rode a stout defense to an unlikely title as OU took down a trio of top three teams on its path to glory. That D kept heavily favored Florida State out of the end zone as Heisman runner-up Josh Heupel led Boomer Sooner to its first championship in 15 years. Number 12, the 2016 Clemson Tigers. Deshaun Watson led his team to a few comeback wins along the way to a championship game shot at redemption against Alabama. Down 10 in the fourth quarter, one more clutch drive by Watson led to a legendary game-winning pass with just a second remaining. Number 11, Nick Saban's 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. Bama won its first 11 games before losing to arch rival Auburn, but the Tide still got the final spot in the college football playoff and made the most of it in the title game against SEC foe Georgia. Saban went to the bench in the second half and freshman Tua Tonga-Vailoa delivered in overtime. Tonga-Vailoa fires to the end zone, touchdown, Alabama wins! 
Number 10, the 1999 Florida State Seminoles. Bobby Bowden's only undefeated team was led by star receiver Peter Warwick and quarterback Chris Winkie. The Knolls beat Michael Vick and Virginia Tech in the BCS championship game to complete that perfect run. A remarkable 31 players from that team would play in the NFL. Now get ready for a bunch of Bama. Number nine is the Tide's 2009 team. Nick Saban's first title in Tuscaloosa included a huge win over Tim Tebow and number one Florida in the SEC title game. Mark Ingram became the first Crimson Tide player to win the Heisman, and the Tide then rolled over Texas in the BCS title game in Pasadena. Let's stick with Saban and Bama for number eight, this time the 2015 team. Another Heisman winner led the Tide as Derrick Henry rushed for over 2,200 yards and 28 touchdowns. Alabama beat Clemson in a memorable 45-40 shootout in the national title game, which included some fourth quarter heroics from the Tide's special teams. Number seven is 2012's version of Roll Tide. Saban's most balanced team ranked top two in both offensive and defensive efficiency on its way to a third title in four years. A.J. McCarron provided steady leadership the entire season and the Tide eventually crushed Notre Dame 42-14 in the title game. Number six, Alabama's 2011 team. An incredible defense held all 12 FBS opponents to 14 points or fewer. Bama lost a one versus two showdown to LSU in November, but after edging Oklahoma State in the final BCS standings, the Tide shut out the Tigers in a title game rematch. Number five, the 2004 USC Trojans. Matt Leinert won the Heisman while Reggie Bush and Lindale White pummeled opposing defenses all season. USC destroyed Oklahoma in the BCS title game 55-19 to win its second straight AP championship. At number four, the 2013 Florida State Seminoles. Jameis Winston won the Heisman as a redshirt freshman and the Knowles won their first 13 games by an average of more than 42 points. FSU trailed late in the title game against Auburn, but Winston found Kelvin Benjamin with 13 seconds left and ended the SEC's run of seven straight titles. Number three, the 2001 Miami Hurricanes. Although it's not our top ranked team, it's probably the best roster of all time with an incredible 17 first rounders, including Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, and Vince Wilfork. The U throttled Nebraska in the title game at the Rose Bowl for its first championship in a decade. Number two, the 2008 Florida Gators. After Tim Tebow's famous promise. I promise you one thing, a lot of good will come out of this. You have never seen any player in the entire country play as hard as I would play the rest of the season. UF rolled off eight straight wins by 28 points or more. In the national championship game, the Gators corralled Heisman winner Sam Bradford's record-setting offense to win their second national title in three years. And the top team of the last two decades, the 2005 Texas Longhorns. Vince Young's dynamic playmaking ability took the Horns to the title game against heavily favored USC. Fourth and five, the national championship on the line right here. He's going for the corner, he's got it! And in what is widely considered the best college football game ever, Young was the brightest star, leading UT to a thrilling comeback win in the closing moments.